Hey guys, I'm giving you an update after another week in Kentucky. We had a great week with the kids. It was a really slow week. I feel like we've spent a lot of time reconnecting with them. God has um, really been providing for us relationally. Um, we had an excellent experience on Sunday at church. We uh, visited a church that's really close to our house. Last Monday, you'll see it in the video clip, I had a little girls date and we actually went to the Dollar Tree. We ran into this lady, long story short, we basically find out we both have four kids and like that's it. I didn't even know she went to church. This lady is like, oh my goodness. And I didn't even recognize her at first. I'm like, oh, she thinks I'm someone else. She's like, we met at the Dollar Tree and I didn't get your number, but I wanted to get your number. And I was praying that God would bring you like <laughs> back into my path. And then we randomly met at the church that morning. Um, it was just super refreshing and super sweet to like have that connection. And it was such an answer to prayer. This is typical, by the way, of Melinda. <laughs> Everywhere we go, she runs into somebody that she met somewhere else in the week. It's, it's like true. impossible to go anywhere. I, I know you from church. I know you from the Dollar Tree. I know you from, she meets somebody everywhere we go. I, get, I don't know if it's just like a small town or... <laughs> It's just God's providence. I I don't I don't meet a lot of people. Some of those people, people I've met too, and I don't remember that I met them. So it's definitely just Melinda being Melinda. So we went back um, that night for an evening service, as well as uh, nachos and cheese and all kinds of <laughs> toppings and uh, human foosball. Uh, continue praying for our family and as well just finding a church. It's a big deal for us. Um, yeah, just that, that God would make it clear where He wants us to invest our lives this next year and a half. Yeah, thank you so much for your prayers, and uh, we're excited to see what this next week brings, and thankful for thankful for the ups, the downs, thankful for the tears. You know, God's teaching us that, like, or He's teaching me at least. Just, he's not teaching me. <laughs> but, like, I feel like He's really been speaking to me in this grieving process, that, like, it's not ungodly to grieve. It's not ungodly to cry, and that's not lacking faith. It's just, um, it's just walking through where God has us, and even in desperate times, continuing to go to Him. And so, thank you for praying for us because um, I don't know if the videos and the pictures make it seem like it's all just like fun and games and laughing because those are the highlights. But just wanted to to share with you like we're still working through this and we're still grieving the fact that we're not in Miami and there's a loss that we feel there but also um, excited for what God has for this next week even if it's wonderful or if it's terrible like we're we're here and we know God has a plan for us thanks for being on this journey with us and enjoy the slideshow bye I can take your license Check it out. Oh. So we're back at Southern's campus and um, something that's really nice about being here so early is really being able to just spend slow days here on campus. This is our second day here. We've been in the pool. It's just been a nice, relaxing afternoon. Okay. Are you going to sit and watch with me? Oh. Run to the second base. You got to go to second base. Hey. You got to go to second base. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> uh, you ready? And Sherlock Holmes and the mystery of the book that caught on fire. Now, a book can't catch on fire, can it? And a, whoa, where is that? <laughs> Owen, did you steal the hundred and billion dollars here? Said no. 
Heading to the Falls of the Ohio, which is a place. Falls of the Ohio. Falls. What? It's just one Ohio. So we're headed to the Falls of the Ohio. I met another friend last Tuesday at the park, and she told us about this awesome program. Oh my God, it's upside down. It's called the Cultural Pass, and there are 50 different places on here that we can go to completely for free until August 11th. And it's such an answer to like very specific prayer. If you guys remember, we were talking about like spending time with the kids and investing in them during this like calm before the storm, before David starts seminary. So I think it's so cool that like God just answered our prayer. What is it? Where? I can do that. Where? Yeah? Skunk skin! <laughs> nice, Annabelle. Is that a card we got from our friends? Yes. yes. Thank you. Whoa, they're actual crayons that you can color with. <gasps> Are you using the crayon that they sent you? Yes. I'm coloring in my You're coloring Four, in yourself? Three, <laughs> two, one. We found a bird in the bathroom. Okay, you want to let him go? Yeah. Go ahead, let him go. like a star. One more church that we want to visit while we're here, and um, are you picking my beard? <laughs> I had something in it. I wasn't sure if later you're gonna say there was something dangling from my beard. I probably Sorry. would have. Continue.